well edited. Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, Thank yeah. you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to get power on your backhand volley. And I want to show you how you can hit the backhand volley one-handed with tremendous power and authority. Now, the backhand volley can be a mystery to a lot of players. I know that many players feel that they have to use two hands because of a lack of strength. And also it can cause injury because they're not hitting the ball correctly. And yet, I've worked with players who are eight or nine years old and have terrific one-handed backhand volleys. So it can't be strength when such young and small people can hit the backhand volley so powerfully. And sometimes it's even more confusing because your technique looks fine, but the stroke still feels weak and anything but a perfect center hit, the racket wobbles and feels very ineffective and fragile in the hand. And this is usually because of the momentum of the stroke. You see, what I'm doing when I hit my backhand volley is I'm projecting the racket forwards. But what most of the people watching this video will be doing is literally pushing the racket forwards. It'll look very similar, but it feels totally different to me. So we need to get the feeling in your stroke of projecting the racket forwards. And to do this, I want you to change the ready position. This is just to get the feel of it. It's not to actually how to play it. So if you put your left hand on the racket here and now take the racket back, and hold the racket firmly with the left hand and begin a kind of fight, an arm wrestle between the two arms. And the left hand will win because the grip is better. And now I'm going to hold it and release the left hand. And I didn't make a swing. The racket swung forwards, right? Look at the difference between me pushing the racket forwards and now having the fight between the two hands and allowing the racket to be released and go forwards. The second one is way more powerful than the first one. In the first one, if there was anything in the way, an object, a ball, then it's going to be a very difficult uh, situation for me to win the collision with the ball. But in the second one, where I'm in this position, then I'm going to win almost every collision with the ball every single time, even if the ball's way off center. Once you've practiced this a few times and got the feel of it, then bring your hand down to here and now you'll need more strength in the left hand because here the left hand has got tremendous leverage. But when I come down to here, the leverage is reduced enormously. So now come to here and still achieve the same feeling of the right hand ripping the racket out of the left hand. When you get the feeling of the right hand really tearing the racket from the left hand, then you'll have so much more power in the backhand volley and you'll have more control. You'll have more control because you've got more racket speed. You see, hitting a tennis ball is a little bit like beating a drum. If you beat the drum in the middle, you get the nice sound. But if you beat the drum just off the middle, then you lose the nice sound. But great drummers, when they're off center, all they do is adjust the power. They hit the drum harder, and now they get the nice sound. It's the same with the racket. You'll get the energy the same way, because if you increase racket speed, then you don't need great timing because you've got a great stroke, a powerful stroke, a powerful backhand volley. If you like my ideas on tennis, check out our books on Amazon. We've got books on every aspect of the game, and the books are broken down with great illustrations, with the science, and then super simple solutions such as this. Or join players in over 40 countries all over the world that I'm helping with one-to-one -one online lessons. For more information on our off-court services or the books, have a look at the links below, or email me for more information. So use this simple technique to feel the correct power and then apply it into the normal stroke and you'll have a better, more powerful and energized backhand volley. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.